how to ask your sheikh or teacher with proper etiquette. And I remember once I was asking Sheikh Tarad Zahran, which is the first sheikh that I sat with in Alexandria in Egypt. And I wanted so bad to ask the sheikh in Arabic. I just wanted to get that fear out of me because I've seen other students doing so. And so I raised my hand and I, ju and I just had learned the verb raka'a. So it's raka'a yarka, right? Bil, bil nasb. Raka'a yarka'u irka. I asked the question to the sheikh and I was saying, Ida yarku' al rajul. And the sheikh was, What? What? What are you saying? What are you saying? And everybody was looking at me like, yo, what are you, what are you talking about? Wait, the sheikh is not understanding you, man. What are you, what are you asking? And it was so embarrassing that since that day, I was like, when I ask the sheikh, I'm going to prepare myself and I'm not going to waste his time. I don't want to put him off of me asking him a question. So, so not only I learned that through experience, but I learned that as well through the books, like I tell you, books like this. So if you want to ask a question, write the question down. Second thing is don't fill up the question with your own experience. Like don't say so, for example, right? I'm not saying you said this, but for example, what a lot of students do. So Ustad, so Sheikh, so you see me, I live in Spain, right? And I wake up at 7 a.m. every morning. I'm mad tired by 8 p.m. So then when I go to sleep, I feel this heavy fogginess in my brain. And then I wake up and I still feel that fogginess. So what do you advise to get rid of this fogginess? You could have saved the sheikh or the teacher 30 seconds if you just asked, Ya sheikh, barakallah fiqh, how do you get rid of the fogginess right after you wake up? You see what I'm trying to say? Now, so teachers and, and mentors and shuyukh, they would appreciate that from you. And they would love you for it. And they will give you these type of lessons that I'm giving you right now, which are very valuable. These are the real lessons that, that scholars talk about. I learned the adab 20 years before I started seeking knowledge. These are the things that are almost more valuable than the actual answer that you are seeking. So when you... Apply this, then the sheikh, the teacher, your, that mentor, not only he gives you this fawaid, but he, he enjoys you growing and you benefiting because you're not heavy around him. 